Hey folks, Todd Martin here, your local Louisville real estate broker, and I appreciate you stopping by my blog. You know, now that we're in the midst of things, and uh, believe it or not, we're just fourth quarter's right around the right around the corner, and you know, we're still seeing that it is a seller's market out there. And today, what I want to talk to you about is how buyers can navigate, you know, a seller's market. And it's crazy, but most analysts would say that that currently we are in a seller's market, as you guys have probably heard. And the summer of 2020 has been nothing but interesting. Now, while the coronavirus has negatively impacted much of our economy, real estate has gone the opposite way of the stock market. And I'm sure you've probably seen that or heard that on some of the blogs and some of the YouTube videos that you looked at. And, you know, now I would say that most of this is likely due to the low interest rates. And let's face it, 3% and below is like free money. So I actually saw where a, a loan or was told where a loan was refinanced on a one and a quarter million dollars for 2.9%. And that's just like free money. Now, if you want, there's a lot of factors to favor in right now, but also challenges because it's what you would characterize as a seller's market. We've got low inventory, we've got high pent up demand, and in June, the median house price nationwide now, not, not just here in Louisville, but nationwide, went up to 295,300. And you've probably been feeling the sting here as we see prices in the bill creeping up. Now, I know we've talked about unemployment um, in the past few months, uh, we've considered that many people didn't lose their jobs. Um, it's the households where people stayed employed, they may feel like they're financially secure enough to buy a house. Now, sellers are finding that they're getting multiple offers well above the asking price. And if you're currently looking to buy, you're probably feeling this thing as well. So what do you do during this crazy time? Well, the first thing that you have to do is you've got to be decisive. Now, if you're going to jump into the seller's market head first, you've got to be decisive. Uh, time is of the essence, meaning you don't have a lot of time to think about this and sometimes being first uh, is usually the best now you've got to submit a clean offer now what I mean by this is the times and the days where you know sellers were offering um, some concessions or helping you to pay for closing costs and prepaids or even offering you a home warranty those times are gone right now you've got to make it clean you're gonna put this much down you're gonna close on this date and you're gonna finance this much through this type of program now, the other, the other thing that you've got to do is you've got to let go of perfection, right? People walk in and they want something that's HGTV. You're not going to find that right now, probably not in your price point uh, unless you're 500 and above, all right? And the thing is, you've got to understand that we're getting back to the days where if you put a little bit of elbow grease in, you're going to get that out and return in the long run. Remember, real estate is about the long term. It's not about the short term. It's about the long term. And you're looking for a house to call a home and raise your family. Now, the other thing is you got to be disciplined in your budget, understanding where your limits are. I know that you might want the house and I know that you might feel that you want to go above and beyond. But when you talk to your realtor, understand this. Houses are priced a certain way because that's where the listing agent thinks that the house should sell and should be. So my clients, the same way we put in offers 5, 10, 15, and even 20,000 over, but knowing that the neighborhood could support that. And you've got to be understanding and disciplined with your budget because if you go over your budget, you're going to be house poor and nobody wants to be that. One of the easy tricks is offer more earnest money. I know here in Louisville, a lot of people like to put down $500 or $1,000 just to hold the house. But in good faith, go ahead and put down two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000, right? It shows that you're a strong buyer. You can act like a strong buyer and show that you're a strong buyer without having to put down more money. That's one of the little tricks that you can do there. Now, of course, if the market's tough and you do have a little bit of flexibility um, when you want to buy or when you can buy, just consider on holding off. I know that's maybe not the answer that you're looking for, but it could be the answer that you need. So again, if you have any questions or if you know anybody that's looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, please don't keep me a secret. We're always here to help. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let us know that you want to see some more of these videos. And if you subscribe, you'll be updated as these come out on a regular basis. But let us know what you'd like to see, and we're happy to offer that. And again, if you need to reach us directly, 502-200-1980. That's 502-200-1980. Have a great day. We look forward to connecting with you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.